Hey, Walt here. So today uh, it's uh, Wednesday, March 16th, and uh, I'm in North Granby right now. I'm actually going to go try to find a geocache. There's one up here hidden in the woods that uh, has eluded me in the past, but I'm going to give it another shot today. So uh, let's go take a look. All right, so we are within 190 feet. It's somewhere up that hill. So let's see if we can try to figure out where this thing is. Supposedly there's an old cemetery up here. Um, it's the old Popper Cemetery here in Granby. And uh, actually, if you're watching this video and you're in a geocaching, just spoiler alert, we're gonna go find this cache. So let's take a look. It's up that hill somewhere, so let me try to get across this brook without getting soaked. And are muddy. Alright, I see a sign way up on that hill there. I don't know. You probably can't make it out. There's a sign up there. I bet you that's the cemetery. within 120 feet now yeah there's a sign up that hill there's a big white sign all right how do we get up here let's go this way That is not as clear. You can see the sign now. I'm within 36 feet now. We're behind the sign. What does it say? Poor Farm Cemetery. That's actually the name of the cache. And we got a rock here. This it says Poor Farm Cemetery, about 1850. Alright. Looks like it's a little bit over this way. All right, I'm within 10 feet, nine feet. Six feet. Gotta be right around here. And, ah, there it is. Right there. Found it. All right. One second while I dig it out. Yeah, put my phone away. I'll go up here where I got a level spot. All right, I don't know why I had such a hard time last time. Let's turn me around here. A little lock and lock. I can get it open. All right. 
standard stuff. We got a log book, some beads, a dice, a little pencil, some sort of little shoe, toothpick kind of thing. All right. I'm going to sign the logbook and then uh, put it back in its place. All right. Well, logbook signed. Signed it uh, Walt Felix, uh, WaltonIngrid.com. And I have placed it back where it was hidden. There's a little bit of traffic uh, out on the road there. We're actually not that far off the road. I'm surprised at how much traffic there is up on Silver Street. It's been a pr pretty steady stream of cars. But um, yeah, that's it. All right, I'm gonna head home now. I was just killing a little bit of time. I'm waiting for uh, Ingrid to finish up work. And uh, tonight we're actually going to see uh, Joe Bonamassa live. Uh, he's going to be appearing at the Bushnell in Hartford. And I have the red carpet passes. So we get to go to the sound check and we get to go. There's like a, a little reception before the concert. And then we have seats up in the uh, front of the orchestra section. Um, we'll see how good those seats are once I get there, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I've wanted to see Joe for a long time, um, but he's really hard to get tickets for. Uh, and usually he doesn't play like the normal coliseums and stuff like that. He plays places like the Bushnell, the real high-end theaters uh, where the ticket prices, like the cheap seats are probably, you know, a hundred bucks or so. So let's see what we got, but all right, on to the next thing. That, that is a classic. Anybody see that door over there? It says basement and musician room. <laughs> hey. What did it say? It says basement, this way to the basement, and musician room. What are in Nashville, according to the Washington Post. Thank you very much. Oh, this is hilarious. Somebody sent an article, full article, about how I started because of the sanctions. And half the tubes oh that we God, use in the name. amps come from Russia. And apparently, I, I have the ability to scale a tube factory in a matter of 18 days and now have a fully functioning tube factory in Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. Well done. That's Washington. That's crazy. I'm glad I did it too. <laughs> Incredible, I mean, how it, all the pieces came together. Yeah. You know, it's funny too, you can, you can, you can, I, I made an announcement on the social media saying it's not true. And you read the comments going, well that's a good idea, I'm glad you did it, Joe. It's like, you fucking read hey, hey. it. <laughs> it's not true. There's so many. I, they still make them in the Czech Republic. They still make them in China. And quite frankly, how many tubes have we really gone through in seven years of Elba? Very few. And you know what? I, 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 I embrace our new tube overloads. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the fractal in no, no, no time. <laughs> thank, thank you, Kate. <laughs> Why, 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 why am I sitting, sitting here playing three amps like a sucker? You know, I could. I, we could do the entire back line with four racks. But no, we could do. We could do Kemper, no, we do fractals because they're two four racks bases for the guitars. 
A Nord for Reese. I got a little bass pod like we used to have. A little bass pod. V drums. Yeah, yeah, V drums.
So the concert was awesome. Um, I've always wanted to see Bonamassa live. Um, that, I had that opportunity this time. What I had was the red carpet experience passes. So that gave me access to the sound check. Um, and then there was like a little reception after the sound check that we got to attend. And then um, the, the actual concert itself. Now, admittedly, I did kind of push the rules a little bit or at least I think I did. Um, the sound check, you know, uh, the documentation that we received said, you know, photos, pictures are allowed. Um, they didn't specify what, can, you know, is cell phone or, or whatever. They just said, you know, photos are permitted, um, but no flash. So what I ended up doing is I didn't want to walk in with one of my big cameras. So I wasn't going to bring in the 5D Mark IV with the battery grip and the and the big 7200 on, you know, 2.8 lens on it. So what I tried to do is really kind of strip my kit down to something very compact there. So I used the 90D with um, an older 70. 300 f4 lens it's not the highest quality lens um it'll take adequate pictures um but i really tried to you know break it down there so the the lens itself uh is actually pretty big this is the setup i actually use so uh what i did is i took the body i took the lens off the body and put that in one of my jacket pockets and then i had the lens in a little bag that we put in my wife's purse and I was able to go in with that. Um, the the guy at security, he kind of looked and he saw the the camera body, and he's like, "Hey, um, the camera's allowed." And I had the 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 letter uh, for the red carpet pass that actually said photos were permitted, so he didn't question it beyond that. Um, so I was able to walk in with this, and I did it with this specifically because. I wanted to be discreet about it. I didn't want to be blatantly obvious that I was walking in with a camera. Um, the photos themselves, I'm not looking to sell these photos. I'm not looking to do, you know, anything with these, you know, licensing them to a magazine or, or whatever. Uh, these are personal photos. That's it. That's for me. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, I put a couple of the shots there uh, in the video. I ended up in total, actually, I filled... Uh, 128 gig memory card um, during the shows uh, between the uh, the sound check and the actual concert itself. So I got a lot of photos. There's there's a few couple a few thousand of them actually. Um, a lot of duplicates because I was really kind of you know running it at high speed shutter, you know um, continuous shutter release there. So it was just firing off photos and I'm just doing, you know, quick, short bursts, trying to get some different shots. Um, there's a couple of shots that, you know, really quickly stood out to me. Um, there's one shot there that you saw that had where I did a color pop of the guitar body. I did that specifically, excuse me, because the, um, the yellow of the bot, the guitar body, just, it just really had this beautiful color to it in the photo. And, um, uh, so I saw, I decided to do that as a black and white with a color pop of the of the guitar body. I did another shot the same way. That one almost looks like a, a concert poster or a concert t-shirt kind of look to it. Uh, almost to the point where I actually started to because there was a little bit of lightness in the background. I actually brought that that contrast way down in the background and really darkened it up to really kind of make that look like almost like a t-shirt or a concert poster um that's the the shot with the red body um fender um but great concert the this camera like i said the, this is the 90d um in this configuration um you know like i said this is not the the the, the most tack sharp lens i have um my better lenses are much larger and a little hard to conceal. So I was really trying to keep this, you know, um, kind of discreet, you know. Um, like I said, I, I was allowed to take pictures. Uh, I kind of just pushed it as far as I could uh, without being too obvious. Um, and again, my intent is not to use that. Now, the video here, this video... Uh, I can already tell you, YouTube's going to flag it for a copyright simply because of the audio, um, which plays a uh, conversation with Alice, uh, which is, you know, a copyright claim. So YouTube will do that. I won't be able to monetize this video. That's not my goal. 
Uh, I was just sharing it because I thought it was kind of cool. I really liked how how relaxed he was while he was playing during the sound check. He he's far more intense during the actual concert itself, but during the sound check, he was joking around, having having fun. And I really liked that part of it the most. I just thought it was really cool. Uh, as far as the concert goes, he did a pretty good set. Um, he started off with Evil Mama. He did Dust Bowl, um, Love Ain't a Long, uh, Love Ain't a Love Song, uh, Midnight Blues, Heart That Never Waits. Um, didn't think she would do it. Uh, Just Cause You Can. Uh, Pain and Sorrow, Conversation with Alice, Lonely Boy, Lonely Boy, and Ballad of John Henry. That's where they finished up. And then he came out for his encore. He did a acoustic solo version, uh, you know, uh, Woke Up Dreaming. Um, and then the band came back out and they, they finished up with the finale of, of uh, Mountain Time. The show was absolutely excellent. Um to the point where I, I'm eager to the next time I get to see him because it, it was a phenomenal show. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, I had fun with that. It was a great show. And uh, I've shared a couple of my photos here. Again, these are like, they're not, you know, I, I was really kind of stripping down the kit and really going with something very small and discreet. So um, they're not super, super tack sharp, but they're actually pretty decent images, uh, you know, in that kind of a situation, I have to kick that ISO up a little bit to kind of compensate for it. So I'm shooting at ISOs that are like, you know, anywhere between 2000 uh, up to 6400. So you're getting a little bit of uh, camera noise in there and everything. And, you know, and you, you can kind of address that a little bit in post, you know, kind of bring that noise level down, do a little bit of that. But as you do that, uh, as you, as you uh, do the do the noise reduction, what happens is is that your sharpness also kind of uh, suffers from that. So, but um, I'm happy with the shots. There's a few shots that I'm already looking at that I'm thinking I'm just going to frame and and hang in in my house simply for my personal collection. But um, that was a great great show. I I can't stress that enough. If you have the opportunity to see him live. By all means, I would say it's damn worth the money uh, for the tickets. Um, well, that I'm going to call it a week right here. Um, as always, thank you for uh, for listening to me ramble for a while. And, um, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, that helps my, get my videos out to other people. Um, and that's, you know, really, I'm just sharing what my experiences are here. That's the whole intent of these videos. But, uh, yeah, as always, thank you. And uh, until next time, keep on wandering.